UCLA STAR program started in 1993. It is the first of its kind that prepares physician scientists at the right time in their training to be the very best possible physician scientists that they can be. We have built in the STAR program a nationally recognized training program by which we recruit individuals who are aspiring to become independent physician scientists to train here at UCLA in the lab of any of a number of preeminent investigators who are on our faculty. The idea of doing a PhD wasn't on my radar screen, but as I went through medical school and residency, I realized that I really did like research, and particularly after I did my residency training where I had a better sense of who I wanted to be as a clinician, the kind of patients I wanted to care for, and the clinical questions that I thought were really important to answer. The individuals we've chosen are so outstanding that even in this short time that the program has been in existence, we have department chairs, division chiefs, the director of uh, the Cardiovascular Institute at Stanford, major leaders at the NIH. About 80% of graduates remain in research, and all of them are focused on making healthier lives for humanity. It's a vehicle for those who want to make a difference to be able to do so. When I was in my residency program and looking to make the next leap, I was looking for a place that offered protected research time and great mentorship. And that clearly came together at UCLA. Mentorship is a very important component that we emphasize, but it's also a two-way street. Our Ds receive multi-level mentorship from clinical and research mentors as well as the directors. We have a relationship in the STAR program with Caltech and with RAND. It's really an opportunity to tap into expertise. One of the beauties of UCLA that I think really allows the STAR program to flourish is the proximity of the hospital to the Biomedical Sciences Center. They are literally across the street from each other and that proximity really facilitates the ability to perform as a physician scientist. One thing that research offers that clinical medicine does not always, I think, is the freedom of thought and sort of thinking outside the box. I enjoy being in the lab thinking, you know, these crazy ideas which don't always pan out, but you are still allowed to be as creative as you want to be. My research is in ethnic and racial disparities. I think as a young mother, I was trying to sort out how I satisfy or satiate this desire to do more education and training, but at the same time, how do I become a good mother and make sure that I'm present for my child? The STAR program is very warm and receptive to people who are young and trying to start a family. STAR provided me the funds, the mentorship, and the space and opportunity to really grow and develop as an investigator as well as a clinician. Without the STAR program, I don't think I would be the person I am today. The STAR Symposium is really one of the highlights of the year for us. It's given us an opportunity to pause and reflect on our history. We get to celebrate the achievements of STAR, at the same time talk about state-of-the-art scientific advancements. It's a great opportunity for a lot of the RDs to network with STAR alumni, leaders from the UCLA community, as well as distinguished guests from around the country. We have the best of the best fellows and investigators uh, coming to present. They have the platform and the opportunity to uh, show their work, put the STAR program out there, and make our STAR fellows shine. The Department of Medicine is committed to the STAR program. We're committed to supporting every STAR fellow who trains here at UCLA. And we're willing to actually make a commitment to you to offer you a faculty position here at UCLA should you complete all of the requirements of the STAR training program. In the world of healthcare reform where many important changes are happening, science is the afterthought of the public. And we can lose out on a generation of scientists if we're not careful. If people are not investigating how diseases happen, we have no chance of figuring out how to stop them. As a philosophy, STAR encourages you to lead rather than to follow. And that's the path that most of these take. They choose to reach for the stars rather than sit back and admire them. Mm -hmm.